The largest region of the American continent with metallic mineral deposits is located in the Andes Mountains. It covers southern Peru, northern and central Chile, and central western Argentina. Chile and Peru know it well. In 2022, Chile exported copper more than $50 billion and Peru $19.5 billion, respectively. In Argentina, on the other hand, it is an opposite reality. It does not produce copper, despite being part of this region rich in a key mineral in the global economy, and that will continue to be so with the rise of the energy transition. Since copper production in Peru registered about 1,700,000 tons until August, having a growth of 18.1%. On the other hand, in Chile the production of this metal reached 3,300,000 tons in the same period of time. However, the figure for the southern country is lower than the similar period of time in 2022, when it reached 5,300,000 tons. This information is according to the Chilean Copper Commission. Precisely in Chile, the main producer of the red metal, since 2004, more than 5 million metric tons of copper have been produced. Furthermore, in the 1990s, it increased its production from 1.5 million tons to more than 4.3 million tons. And the use of copper is very important since the red metal is key in the application in technologies related to renewable energy and electromobility, construction, electrical industry and telecommunications, among others. In Peru, still the second largest producer of this metal product in the world, since 2016 it has a production that exceeds 2 million tons. And between 2004 and 2015, the figure was greater than 1 million tons. Carlos Galvez, former president of the National Society of Mining, Petroleum and Energy, pointed out that mining investment in Chile exceeds $4 billion annually. Although it has not managed to maintain its peak copper production of 5.7 million tons. On the other hand, Argentina does not want to sit idly by, since it is implementing copper projects in its country of Argentina. The closure in 2018 of the Bajo La Alumbra project in the province of San Juan left Argentina without copper production. Five years later, the country still does not produce this key mineral in the global supply chain, but the Argentine government has expectations that this scenario can be reversed in the short term. According to an official report, there are 20 copper projects in Argentina, of which only one is in the phase closest to production, and that is the Josemaria Mining Project in the province of San Juan, operated by London Mining. On the other hand, in Chile, in recent years its production of this metallic resource has decreased. From 5,700,000 tons in 2020 to 5,300,000 tons in 2022. As an example, he indicated that the Chuquicamata mine, located in Antofagasta and operated by the state-owned National Copper Corporation of Chile, is a deep pit operation and to the extent that they have gone deeper. They have lowered the grades for the volumes managed. That is, despite having a greater extraction volume, there is a smaller amount of metal content that can be extracted. He recalled that in Chile, expropriations of mines developed by international companies were carried out, which led to the creation of Codelco. However, he pointed out that the state mining company has dedicated itself to the production of minerals, but not to the exploration or expansion of mining reserves. In the case of Peru, the copper production capacity is up to 2.8 million tons, although that figure has not been reached for reasons such as social conflicts, the blockage of traffic in Las Bambas, a copper mine located in the provinces of Cotabambas and Grau in the department of Aparimac in central Peru. In addition to the paralysis of Cuajone and Antamina, to mention a few cases, this year Peru can probably reach 2.7 million tons if no further difficulties arise. Despite everything, with more mining history, both Chile and Peru have been able to better exploit the resources of their mountains. Chile leads the global ranking of reserves of 30% of global resources, followed by the United States and Peru with 9% and 8% respectively. But if Peru had a mining investment figure similar to that of Chile, it could reach the copper production of the neighboring country. If Peru invests those $4 billion that they invest per year, we would be increasing our production in new operations, with higher grades, lower costs because they are new mines and we could equalize their production in a 10-year horizon. It is a formidable challenge, but doable. To do this, it is necessary to generate trust in the Peruvian country and have a clear vision of the government in the mining sector. It is also necessary to establish basic conditions with which to serve the population in a space of seven years and in which the private investment. And with this we will be ending this video, leave us in the comments, what did you think of these data? We will be attentive to read you in the comments. 
If you found the video useful, we would appreciate it if you gave it a like to support our project and if you subscribe. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.